Hello everyone, how we doing today? So, um, yeah, this is my new place. This is my little uh, Winnebago. It's rather nice, still out on the front lawn, but that's cool. Uh, yeah, it, it's nice, it's small. I tried to get the, the, the lighting level better. This is, this is not bad. So, to celebrate this new place, the first uh, Song Snob Reacts video in this little place, uh, we're going to do my favorite band to review. We are going to do Church of the Cosmic Skull, because that's pretty much what this channel is about half the time. It is just them, because I love that band. <laughs> you know, hey, if you don't like it, then GTFO. But yeah. This song will mark me reacting to what is essentially an entire album. At some point, I'm actually going to have to listen to it now, or even get it on CD. Or LP. You know, I could uh, get a record player and be an, Mel an LP douche. You know, I, I'd have reason for that. They say the LP is supposed to be superior to CD, and uh, I don't think I'm enough of, a, of an audiophile to really say that that is the case. But uh, without further ado, this is um, uh, Church of the Cause of Skull, Paper, Aeroplane, and Silver Moon. Let's go. I saw the smiling in the rain And all the people knew her name They said she'd never love again But no, she did not show her pain I have to make a paper airplane and send it with none to lose and all to gain I got to speak to her today I just don't know what she'll say I guess if she don't feel the same I have to take my paper airplane Throw it all away Don't even know you, boy But you said you're the one for me And you said that you loved me But I said it could never be Your window. Your window, come with me and ride. 
ride the Ferris wheel. When the summer comes, we'll walk out in the country. Kids need fears that you feel, and I'll tell you all. Somehow that was simultaneously one of the most beautiful and most terrifying songs I've ever heard in my life. Go figure, only they could do that. And I swear to God, if I ever miss the chance to uh, see Church of the Cosmos go live, I will kick myself. <sighs> yeah, you ask me, how, how do you kick yourself? Um, you extend your leg backwards until you make f uh, contact between your foot and your left ass cheek. Or your right one, for that matter. That is how you kick yourself. But yes, uh, this was obviously very much driven by the rock organ. It's a standard Hammond B3 organ, which was uh, seriously popular back in uh, the heyday of 70s prog. This is generally in that style. So taking that into consideration, yeah. Uh, the backing vocals on this were probably the best they've ever had. Overall, this is clearly a full five monocles. Not a bad thing about it, unless you know, considering things like taste. I think the length was perfect. It wasn't overly long, because some of their songs can either be too long or too short. It's pretty rare when they manage to get somewhere in between on that, so good on them. So yeah, that's a solid five monocles. Hmm, yes. So let's just take a look at the um, lyrics here. Let's do a lyrical breakdown. Okay. <clears throat> I saw her smiling in the rain and all the people knew her name. Maybe she'd never love again, but no, she did not show her pain. I'll have to make a paper airplane and send it her way. So you're going to make her feel better by tossing a paper airplane at her? I mean, some people in like, particularly like in school setting, school children do that to each other, and it usually helps cheer each other up and whatnot. But 
But I doubt they're referencing that, though. With none to lose and all to gain, I've got to speak to her today. But I just don't know what she'll say. I guess if she don't feel the same, I'll have to make my paper airplane and throw it all away. Ah, uh, so sort of almost like a crush of some sort. Some romantic or early rom pre-romantic style feeling for someone. I don't even know you, boy, but you said you're the, the one for me. And you said what, that you loved me. I said it could never be. And nobody knows it, so maybe it's all a dream. And nobody knows it, so maybe it's all a dream. A secret path I found, that wound around the mountain, down below the tortoise and the hare. I've seen the lonely line playing in the fountain. Give to me the burdens that you bear, and in the east I've seen the silver moon rising. arising. Okay, so this started out sounding like a schoolboy crush slash love affair, and then turned into some gobbledygook about a secret path through a fucking mountain and a tortoise and a hare. I'm sure it has some sort of meaning, but I'm just not sure what it is. Seen the lonely lion playing in the fountain, give to me the burden that you bear, and in and in the, the east I've seen the silver moon arising. Well, you're asking for someone to give their burden to you so that they don't have to be stressed out by it anymore. I'll, I'll carry your cross for you. This sort of thing. But yeah, what's what the fuck is about the secret path I found that wound around the mountain? Below the tortoise and the hare. Well, the tortoise and the hare is a classic children's story about slow and steady winning the race. So, below a race, below a race to a finish line, there's a secret, a secret path around it. And then you find a lonely lion playing in a fountain. I don't get it. And nobody knows maybe it's all a dream. Nobody knows maybe it's all a dream. I've seen the carnival that whirls outside your window. Come with me and ride the Ferris wheel. And when the summer comes, we'll walk out in the country. Give to me the fears that you feel, and then I'll tell you all the things that I've been thinking on the wind. Those distant bells appeal, and then the air goes still, and all the birds are silent. In the new sunlight, all is revealed. This is a little more straightforward. It says, I've seen the carnival that whirls outside your window. Uh, the carnival... You know, the carnival is something that often sometimes represents uh, wild and craziness, you know, passion, emotion, feeling. You ride the Ferris wheel with someone, you sort of have a companion through all of it. And when the summer comes, that is the hot, warm days, we'll walk out in the country. Give to me the fears, the fears that you feel, and then I'll let, tell you all the things I've been thinking. On the when those distant bells appeal. So I guess that overall the song the message of the song is that this is about love and sharing each other's burdens. In the north I've seen a nest of golden eagles cared for by a mother overrun, and though the record plays broken as the needle, the cake she bakes are never underdone, and as the raven files he calls out to the people, cast your eyes upon the setting sun, and all at once they sang a song from every steeple. Don't you know that this girl is the one? So yeah, it's it's a poetic description of love, loving each other, and sharing each other's burdens. I think, though, that the problem is, is that at least one section is extremely hard to determine. It was too cryptic. They overdid it and made it inaccessible. So I have to take a point away for that. A whole point. Giving the song overall a four monocles. Excellent music, but the lyrics seriously hold it back from being as great as it could be. So this is a four monocles overall. This could have been a five, my dude. This could have been it. But yeah, first Church of the Cosmic Skull video in the new place. Fantastic. Anyway, that's about all. Peace.